Hello everyone. I'm pleased to welcome you to the ISO 27001 Information Security Management course presented by EC Council. My name is Tino Šokić and I will be your presenter for this interesting and hopefully exciting course. But just one thing before we continue. Please allow me to tell you a little bit about myself because I feel it is my obligation to tell you who I am and what I do in IT and information security in general. Or am I even credible to talk about this subject? Now we are going to touch on the synopsis or the summary or the syllabus, if you will, of this course, where I believe you will get a better picture of what are we going to discuss as we move forward. My goal here is to give you a good starting point with the standard ISO 27001, the Information Security Management System or ISMS for short, and teach you all you need to know to proceed with your studies towards either the personal certification, to be, for example, auditor or implementer, or to prepare your company against uh, the 27001 certification and for you to be involved in the project. The goal here is to teach you the details about the 27001 and for you to learn all the requirements in the easiest way possible. Another thing that is important to mention is that there is no real time limit for taking this course prior to going for your certification or the company certification. But I would really recommend that you finish this course within one week's time. Now, as you can see on the slide, I've created this course with seven sections, where each module, except the first and the last one, are included in the assessment of your knowledge uh, later on. Little tests I have written uh, down for each section so you can be even more confident that you have successfully completed each section. And now I will briefly touch on each one of the sections so you will know what are you in for. Now, in the first section called Introduction, we will, or better to say, we already have covered the instructor uh, welcome and now we are going through the course overview. So in the next part of this video, we will touch on the target audience and the prerequisites that would be needed for you to successfully complete this course. Then the second section is where we start our journey. And I have called this section the Information Security 101. From the title, you can get the idea what are we going to talk about here. But still, I would like to point out a couple of important things about this section. In this section, we will go from the basics about information security. We will learn what it is and what it isn't. And all of that will be condensed, uh, so to speak, into the three pillars of information security. And that's the CIA, famous CIA. It's not the agency. And you will learn all about it in the next section. Then, section number three, called Introduction to ISO slash IEC 27001. In this section, we will start to jump into the main topic of this course, the 27001 standard. We will talk about the whole 27000 family of standards, history, structure of it, but we will also touch on other frameworks and regulations like the famous GDPR, then PS, PCI, DSS, and uh, NIST, CSF. Sorry, a lot of acronyms. I won't demystify all the acronyms right now to spoil the fun, but you will see how it is all very connected to each other. Actually, analogy is almost like when you know and you learn one programming language, then it is far easier to learn other ones. Hope that makes sense. Then we enter section 4 of the course. Besides the fact that uh, section 4 is in the other half of the whole course, in this section we will go over the 10 clauses of ISO 27001. Actually there are 11 of them because the first clause is clause 0 and the last one is clause number 10. This section is important because clauses 4 to 10 are mandatory to include, to include them in your company, for your company. So if your company is aiming for the ISO 27001 certification, these are the required processes, documents and policies that need to be included or created to deliver a compliant system. Also, in this section, we will talk about the PDCA framework or the Plan, Do, Check, Act cycle. 
which will give you a better vision of implementing governance and alignment with improved business objectives. I know this sounds kind of uh, very like business-like. All the steps in this cycle are used at each stage of 27001 implementation. It maybe sounds like a lot as we talk about it, but you will see it will all make sense in the end. Then the section 5, uh, which is dedicated to probably a, the most important thing, and that is risk. Actually, risk management. If you think about it, uh, everything revolves around risk. And is the risk acceptable? Can you handle it? That's why in this section we will talk about what risk methodology should you use to address risk, how to assess it, and in the end, how to treat that risk. Now, uh, section 6, that goes by the title ISO 27001 NXA, is a big one. And it is probably one of the famous parts of ISO uh, 27001. Not to get you scared, rather to prepare you to take time for this section, because there are a lot of things that we have to talk about here. The standard takes a risk-based approach to information security. This requires organizations to identify information security risks and select appropriate controls to tackle them. There are 114 Annex A controls divided into 14 categories. We will go through every category based on which you will decide how to respond to the requirements against them as you build your information security management system in your organization or a company. A useful way to understand Annex A is to think of it as a catalog of security controls that you will use to make you, your information safe and resilient to incidents, the bad things. And after the big section, we will come to the last section of the course, that is section 7, titled Conclusion, where I will give you my final thought and wrap up the whole 27001 journey. And now for the prerequisites. The prerequisites needed to successfully go through the course will be listed here. To tell you the truth, there aren't any special prerequisites because if you are already watching this course, you are very well involved or you are going for the fact to be involved in information security. That being said, I would point out two things. First is willingness to learn and one other ingredient time. If you are here and have these two ingredients, you can't miss in my opinion. Okay now, let's move on to the target audience part. Here it is. I believe that this course can be and is a valuable resource to almost anyone who wishes to pursue his or hers IT security career. But I would like to mention uh, the specific groups of people or specific job titles that will probably get the most benefits out of a course like this. So the first group of people I am listing here as the target audience are the consultants. If you wish to be or you already are an IT consultant then this kind of knowledge can only increase your price and reputation. Next are chief information officers around companies. These positions carry a lot of responsibilities and it can only be a benefit to know how to use this kind of a standard. After them, then project managers, actually managers in general. Because I have to tell you, uh, if you are planning to certify your company or even yourself against this standard, then that is most definitely a project that requires a systematic approach. And don't forget about the main ingredient, time. Then I would like to mention different security team members, especially if you work in a company where a dedicated security department exists. Then after that, internal auditors, and you will learn how important internal auditing is if you are pursuing this certification. After them, I would like to mention technical experts, actually anyone with a technical background that wants to break into information security. Take me for an example. My background is technical, and when I start to learn and work directly with this standard, it all made sense to me. The technology part with the business part. After the technical people, I have listed people involved in the implementation and administration of the information security management system, because maybe your background is management or economics, or even something unrelated to the topic, but nevertheless, you are involved in the before-mentioned activities of ISO 27001. 
And lastly, I wish to mention anyone who wishes to pursue the 27001 certification or further studies for the whole 27000 family of standards. I know that I haven't covered everybody here, but if I gave you an additional reason to continue this course, then I'm glad. And now, after my welcome and the course overview, and without any further ado, uh, the only thing I want to say to you is buckle up and see you in the next video where we will start to talk about ISO 27001, actual information security, in more detail. Thank you and see you in a bit.